In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to plant and care for your tomatoes, squash, peppers, basil. Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author of Saving the World with the Home Garden. Tip number one is to prepare a hole that's twice as wide, twice as deep as a container in which you're planting the plant. This is specific to your vegetable plantings, being that they're gonna be a one season term plant. The reason that we're going twice as deep is that we're improving the soil around our planting and also continuously improving the topsoil during its growing season. I'm adding this additional caveat for your tree plantings that you would not prepare a hole twice as deep to prevent the risk of soil collapse that would lead to future stem rot issues, which would ultimately shorten the health and life of your tree. Tip number two is to improve the soil with compost, both the planting hole as well as the topsoil. Even a 50-50 blend is completely fine, contrary to many of the lessons when we talked about the new era planting of trees, you would not be improving the planting hole with compost because the compost is gonna quickly break down and lead again to that soil collapse and potential stem rot of the tree that may collapse into the hole. But however, again, for your one season plantings, even again, if it's gonna make it into year two, such as your tomatoes and peppers and other plants that may have a longer life than just a year, but for your seasonal stuff, which includes again, your tomatoes and peppers and so forth, you can improve the planting hole with compost to help ease those roots quicker into that planting hole. You can also enrich the soil with a fertilizer, such as the Ivory Organics All-Purpose Fertilizers. This is offer your plants all six macronutrients. The nutrients plants need an abundance, which include nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. And this is important for the overall health, performance, and longevity of those plants that you're putting and integrating into your home garden. Tip number three is to remove the root bound roots. You may remove as much as 5%, 10%, even a third of the soil mass near the bottom of the container so that those roots that grow and extend reach far and deep to get the moisture and nutrients far from the plant instead of continuously growing in that root bound fashion, that circular fashion as it was in the original container. Tip number four is to plant your tomatoes deep, so deep they can go up to 50% up the plant stem be certain to remove the leaves before planting them as you don't want those parts rotting as they're still connected to the plant. But you're gonna remove those leaves and then bury it deep into the ground, exposing just the top half of the stem. And what's gonna ultimately happen is that roots are gonna be pushing out out of the stem, increasing the stability of the plant, helping the plant uptake even more moisture, more minerals to ultimately generate more flowers. And the end goal is more fruit. The caveat is you would not be doing this with your peppers and your basil and your squash and all of the other plantings that you're doing again to prevent the risk of stem rot. Because a lot of these other plants, in addition to your fruit trees that you're planting, if you're burying them below the depth of the soil level in which they're in their container, it'll result in a phenomenon known as stem rot, where the bark begins to rot, the underlying cambium tissues begin to rot, and your overall health and performance of the plant gets disrupted. Tip number five is to feed your plants with a granular fertilizer every 30 to 60 days. My favorite practice is the first week of every single month is to add a granular fertilizer to the topsoil, make sure it's in contact with the soil, and every time you go to water it, it'll continuously feed the plant during each watering. If you're using a liquid fertilizer or the liquid option with the Ivory Organics all-purpose fertilizers, then you're gonna to want to apply a little bit more frequently, at least every two to four weeks, as the liquid fertilizers are uptake significantly faster than a granular feed. Tip number six is to make sure that your plants have calcium. The Ivory Organics fertilizers have nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, and calcium. And that calcium is really important to the growing plants as calcium is in the cell walls of all the plants. Your fast growing plants are quickly uptaking the calcium in your soil and, and, and depleting the soil of those calcium minerals. And for your tomatoes in particular, and especially in the early season, when it's growing the fastest, those tomatoes need calcium. And if they don't, it results in a phenomenon known as tomato blossom and rot. And that's where the tomatoes will develop with black bottoms and that's the deficiency of calcium in the soil and by making sure you're continuously feeding those fast growing plants especially in the early part of the season 
and especially even during the season to make sure that all the elements are there in the soil for optimal performance, growth, development, and at the end of the day, flavor and nutrition back to us, which they're delivering when you're harvesting the most nutritious and delicious fruits and vegetables from your home garden. Tip seven is mulch. And I love mulching around all of my new plantings, whether they be fruits or vegetables, and the benefits that come with mulch are many. But here are just a few. One is it's gonna help suppress weeds around your planting and help make sure that all of your minerals and resources and water are all going to benefit that particular plant and not the weeds that may be you know, springing up around and competing with your new planting. Secondly, it's gonna help retain moisture. And by putting a layer of mulch around the plant, it's gonna serve as a blanket, helping to retain moisture so that you don't have to water your plants as frequently. And that's gonna save you money. Also, adding a mulch layer, and we're just talking about a two to three inch layer of mulch, is gonna help also keep the soil cooler as you go into the warmer spring, summer, and early fall months. And that protection is gonna help stabilize the soil temperatures, help encourage more soil organisms, beneficial organisms, such as your earthworms and beneficial bacteria and mycorrhiza that are all gonna to contribute towards the breaking down of those organic fertilizers you're gonna be integrating into the soil and helping deliver maximum elements and nutrition to those surrounding plants. Another reason I like adding mulch around, particularly my squash plants, this may apply to your pumpkins and your watermelon and even your strawberries, is it helps keep also the fruits from direct contact with the soil and better protect it from potential pest issues. Tip number eight is to offer your plants transplant shock protection as well as insect repellent protection. And Ivory Organics has a ready to use spray product which can be sprayed on the plant and offers sun screen protection in addition to serving as an anti-transparent, helping the plant better retain moisture, which also further reduces the risk of transplant shock. And the product also contains cinnamon and garlic in addition to diatomaceous earth to help also ward off a lot of pests such as aphids and other pests that may chew or suck or try to damage the surfaces as the plant is getting established and building its own immunity and resistance to pest damage. Tip number nine is I highly recommend you growing your tomatoes as a single double or triple vine helps bring all those resources from the roots to just a few stems so that those blossoms and ultimately the fruit grow to maximum size and maximum flavors. Tip 10 is to make sure you harvest your stuff. Seems obvious, but a lot of people leave their produce on the vine for too long or their fruits on their plant for too long. And that takes away from the next generation of flowers and that next generation of another harvest. So make sure whether it comes to your tomatoes, your peppers, your squash, and for the herbs on your property, such as your basil, rosemary, mint, if they're going to the flowering phase, that's the last phase of that plant's life. And if the goal is to have more leaves that you can enjoy in your culinary dishes, be sure to remove the flowers and that'll continuously encourage further growth for a longer season. If you've enjoyed this gardening lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us that thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And if you have not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button and push bell notification to stay informed of all of these lessons as soon as they become made available. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.